Trinidad and Tobago's Olympic shot put queen Cleopatra Borel is gearing up for a strong finish to her 2016 season. The 37-year-old sportswoman of the year is in Belgium, where she was selected to compete in the highly contested Brussels Diamond League. Borel joins the ranks of decorated athletes on the roster to compete at this event, with her focus on keeping the momentum from her performance at Rio 2016. Soon thereafter, Borel will head to Marseille, France, for the SEAT Decanation, which she indicated will be her final competition for 2016. And the build-up to the Paralympics might not have been the smoothest, but things changed last night with a very colorful opening ceremony inside the Marcana Stadium in Rio. Taking its rightful place among the other nations parading was Team TTO, with Akeem Stewart carrying the TT flag. He is one of three athletes representing Trinidad Tobago at these games and is hoping to land gold for TNT in the field events where he is among the favorites. The games got a late burst of government funding and large ticket donations to ensure that as many people as possible get the chance to attend the events. And from the look of things, we can all be prepared to be inspired and excited by elite athletes with an impairment showing their, showcasing their incredible sporting abilities. And in Formula One news now, U.S. firm Liberty Media has confirmed it is buying the racing business, Formula One, for 4.4 billion U.S. dollars. The move ends years of speculation about the ownership of the company. Bernie Ecclestone will remain as chief executive officer, but Chase Carey, vice chairman of 21st Century Fox, will now become the new chairman. Liberty Media has stakes in several sports and entertainment businesses, including the Atlanta Braves Major League Baseball Club. Owned by the billionaire John Malone, Liberty will initially purchase a minority stake in the world's leading motor racing championship, and a full takeover is planned if regulators approve the deal. The total transaction values the firm at $8 billion, but includes $4.1 billion of F1's debt. And that was your C-Sports for today.